This is standing by at PHL with an update on how the storm is impacting air travel. Good morning, Corey. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we are seeing that ripple effect as airlines change flight schedules. They move planes around and flight crews as well. So, so far here at the Philadelphia International Airport, we are seeing roughly 25, 26 or so cancellations. That number continuing to slowly increase. Most on Frontier and American Airlines, those two are mostly impacted with flights that were headed to Orlando, Jacksonville, and Tampa. Right now, of course, the Tampa International Airport and the Tallahassee Airport are still closed. So the FAA is continuing to reroute flights around the Gulf of Mexico, and they say they will uh, pause flights as needed. The impacts are being felt across the country with more than 4,000 delays nationwide yesterday and nearly 600 cancellations yesterday. So numbers are already surpassing that this morning with nationwide numbers, nearly 800 cancellations so far. Uh, most are due to the Tampa International Airport being closed, mainly affecting Southwest Airlines nationwide, which is the busiest carrier in Tampa. This comes as we move, of course, uh, closer toward the busy Labor Day weekend with tomorrow and Friday expected to be the busiest days for air travel. Several Philadelphians who were in Florida made it back home last night just in time, but they still had some delays to deal with. Yeah, I don't know how much damage it's going to do. The Floridians don't think it's going to cause any damage, but uh, I didn't want to be around to find out, so I'm glad to be home. <laughs> Yeah, so we only know it. We know it only takes one hurricane down in the Gulf of Mexico to affect the oil refinery network down there. Uh, when you're looking at gas prices, we're told that there is expected to be a temporary spike, but I'll have more on that over the course of the morning from AAA. For now, reporting live at the Philadelphia International Airport, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Yeah, we'll be following this closely, Corey. Thank you. And you